All right. Well, here we're going to be reacting to Orbit Culture. The song is From the Inside. I don't think I've heard this before. This was recommended by Ortega, who's a patron uh, member. And uh, I greatly appreciate his support. Uh, thank you, brother. I mean, it means a, a lot to me. And if you guys want to help support in that way, you guys can do that as well. Oh, ladies, too, as well. Uh, I don't know if you not if blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Orbit Culture. It's actually a band I've listened to already. Like I don't I don't know about this song though, but like I discovered them a couple years ago, and I really fell in love with their stuff. Like I like their sound. It's very full. It's very heavy. It's very intense. And in some songs it's very cinematic. Even uh, like like I would say like very dramatic, and I just like that. Anyway, but from the inside, I don't really recognize the title. I don't think I've heard this before. You know, I'm not trying to lie to you. I'm just saying I don't remember. If, if I if I recognize it at the end, I'll let you guys know. We're going to press the play button, listen to it, and see what we think of this song. All right? Here we go. Let's do it. Pause right now. That's what I mean by the cinematic and dramatic sound. I have heard this song before. I have. This is not a first time initial reaction. If you don't like it, I'm sorry to tell you, but brother, I like this already. We're going to explain and go to more detail at the end of this. But already, what you heard there, that blend of the harmony of the guitar there and the drumming and all that. Ooh, and the backing. Ooh, it's just so good. So good. So good. So good. It's like building up for something intense. Here we go. I like how they balance it with this. You have the hard and the heavy and the and the calm. Like you have to have that. You, have, you need that dichotomy. 
Wait, did I just say dichotomy? Is that is that a is that a big college word coming out from me? I know I present myself like <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Okay, okay, wait. That sound is just so freaking full. There's so much going on there. It's like a wall of sound. But within that wall of sound, you can hear the various layers, right? Pretty, pretty clearly, though. There's some parts where it's kind of like, am I really hearing that? What's going on back there? Um, like, one thing I like about this band and this song in particular, like when you re-listen to it, you're going to hear things you didn't really notice or pay that much attention to. It, like for example, this time wa- listening to you, listening to it with you guys, I'm paying much more attention to the dynamic of uh, the 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 I guess the the, the character of the song and how like the very slow parts, which are very clean, kind of very clear, uh, compared to with the very heavy, hard hitting uh, parts where the drums are pretty intense. There, obviously, the the bass drum is really intense. And he, co- had, of course, instrumentation is like, I don't know if it can be tuned down any lower than what it is, right? It's like, <laughs> guys, like, I I don't know if it can go lower than that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And I like how when he when he screams, when he growls, it, it is the kind of like cookie monster growl that you hear at times. But not really. I, I can hear what he's saying. I understand what he's saying, but but then he offsets that with with a with a clean voice that just sounds so good with it. You know, it, it's a nice man. It's a nice combination. I really I really enjoy that. Like you know, like I said in the beginning, very dramatic, almost cinematic. Yeah, it's like a it is like you're listening to a movie. In a way, it, it's a story. It's it's pretty intense. Um, yeah, man. I I I think we have some more here. Oh, just when you thought we were done, we're coming back. We're coming back.
Very cool. Very cool. Like, there's a lot of layers going on in this song here. And my question, I haven't really listened to this band live. I, I've done one reaction so far of one of their live videos, and it was pretty cool. It wasn't this song, but I was amazed at how well they're able to take this sound. Because when you hear it, it's like I said, it's very full, and there's a lot of layers going on. And you know, it's like there's some, like, uh, you know, it, it, to pull that off live, you're going to need some some backing tracks or something because, you know, because his voice is being layered on top of it, right? Um, which, which at this point for this particular band, and I guess it's case by case basis, it, it's acceptable for a backing track 100% because it's, well, I think, well, okay. You know, what, what I'm saying is, if it's part of the artwork, if it's part of the art form, uh, the, the music to help create it, to make it more full, and you're using what you have there, you know, you only have so many members of the band, you can only play so many live instruments at one time, so you're going to need some other things in the background to help, you know, pre-record it and, and, and make that sound. I totally understand that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this song is really cool i like how it all it all sounded what well, what else could i say i was amazed by it normally when i'm listening to this i'm running around on the motorcycle and this is definitely music that will get you really focused on the traffic and little things that people are doing to you know what to avoid anyway with that said you guys let me know what you thought about it and y'all take it easy and have a good one